this is the MG Carbs that we know we do. Um, this is a video preparation we're doing for you. Uh, my name is John Watson, I'm chairman of the MG Car Club MGB Register here in England. And sat with me is Don Hayter. Hi, Don Hayter, last chief engineer of Abingdon here at Abingdon on Thames, as I'm so proud of. And um, main draftsman, I suppose, on the MGB from 1959 until the uh, factory closed in 1980. Good. Uh, Don, well, we're here in the new John Thornley suite in the MG Car Club offices in Abingdon, and uh, just a few yards up the road here from where all of our MGBs were built, and the MGs right through from the uh, factory starting in the 30s. Um, you must be really pleased, you know, would you have realised that uh, 500,000 of these cars would have been so successful? I had no idea uh, when uh, I started work on a proposed development a new version of the MGA under instruction from Sierra, uh, where we were going to go in, the, in that the MGA Production was had gone up very successfully and changed its marks, but we were uh, aiming to do something completely new as a replacement. So I had no idea where it would go for years later. Yes, yes, it's quite an amazing thing. Now, over the over the last 50 years, because this year, 2012, it's the 50th anniversary of the uh, MGB, and we here. At in the UK having a big event, and you guys over there having a big event in uh, Victoria. Um, what, what would have been your best memory, do you think? If you could sort of snap out something of the last 50 years, what do you think would be your best memory of linked with MGBs? I suppose the significant bit in remembrance is that the MGA finished, and we went on to something completely new, and um, you didn't know how that was going to go until we got to a, the first 100,000 MGB and we realised we had passed the market of the previous uh, car, the MGA. Yeah. Later, of course, we passed that even more. We had a celebration of 250,000 MGBs and uh, this uh, generated visits and interest from Longbridge and our directors who we normally never saw, but they realised that Abingdon were being quite successful. And uh, we had pictures taken, uh, particularly with Sir Edward and people to celebrate this point. That's, that's, yeah, that's the picture we all see in all the, uh, in all the books. So in just uh, three weeks time, we have a big celebration in Blenheim Palace. Uh, just 15 miles up the road here from Abingdon, um, and you must be really proud that we, you know, we've, so far we've got 2,000 MGs uh, coming on the day. You must be really proud that all these people are coming out in your car to celebrate this fantastic um, product. Having visited um, Australia, Africa, and Australia. Uh, lately, uh, most late, and then the Americans uh, see all the MGBs on these markets uh, in such wonderful condition. I mean, they're better than they left the factory in a lot of cases. <laughs> Slightly modified, but uh, uh, is it's amazing to see field fulls of MG. Yes. Um, my last memory was MG Live this year, seeing a complete circuit of MG MGBs going round absolutely wonderful. Yes, that was, so that was a really fantastic race yeah. that uh, was put on at the July of the Silver Stone in June. Um, we've known each other now, we've gone for quite a few years, and I'm really pleased that your wife Mary has pushed you into producing this book. Um, hopefully it's going to be ready for uh, Blenheim 
And you must be really pleased that it's, uh, you've at last got all your thoughts into paper. Uh, well, it uh, meant my digging out pictures and records from my files, but it is nice uh, because I, I've done it really as a record, history record, but also to thank all the people who helped me over the years, the employees of the factory. Uh, I still see some of them around the town, and it's very nice, hopefully, they'll recognise what went on in the factory when I've written it in the book. Yes, yes, yes. Good, okay, well, I think it's time for us guys to uh, close down now and wish you all in Victoria a fantastic year with MGBs right. and future. And sorry, Don, yes? There's one thing that I should say, as we're talking to Australia, that Australia was the only place in the world where MGs were produced as well as at Abingdon. You have a production line in, uh, in Australia and you've got cars running around, not built in England, built in Australia, but exactly the same pattern. It's wonderful to see them. And I, I, when I went out there, I was really tickled to see that. That's really something else. Excellent. Good. We have to say goodbye. So have a great day. And uh, good talking to you all. So let's take under this bonnet of yours then, John. So this is the only official V8 roadster, isn't it? Came out of the, finished and drove out of the factory. Well, it didn't drive out of the factory, but finished assembled in the factory, yes. Instead of that, that, that. All right, yeah. So it's not a stat instead of the engine yeah, yeah, stat. Yeah. Much more sensitive, it's right on the wall. Yeah, yeah. I made that and put it on. Oh, yes, that's They're good. dangerous, those. Yeah, yeah, well, the blades are whizzing around. Blades are coming around. Say, we actually did a modification. Yeah. And there were, I don't know if it was on the last cars or not. Oh, and of course, there's a slight difference here in that, that the, the piper leak for the um, oil pressure. Yeah. This oil pressure to the mm. oil filter is different. Because this was one of the original O series of bodies. Yeah, it's an O series that went to body, America. Actually, the wings are pushed out yeah. for the uh, bigger exhaust system. Right. And of course, for the, it had a forward radiator, but we had a, an air control system across here. Yeah. That is MVB, direct acting servo, but modified yes. for the bigger brakes. Right. First pair of HF6s done for this installation, for this inlet manifold, which was done by Har um, uh, Hounslow, um, back to Alec Hounslow and Barry Jackson. Oh, right, yeah. And that's the, the using the same um, inlet manifold, yeah. but a different adapter for the carburetors. And, the carburetors. and those are the first carburetors to the correct tune, uh, which were in a, a, a store supplied a samples to MG for when the V8 came and when the, the factory was closing we yep. went in the cupboard and found them found and they were still there so I bought them. <laughs>